What's up everyone? This is Mr. Tang again from A Scholar So for today, what we're gonna do is we'll be looking at three more questions from PSLE Math. So if you knew these three types of heuristics, it would save you approximately eight marks. Let's go. <laughs> So that was some lunch, that was a pretty nice lunch, hope you had your lunch as well. So without further ado, let's go straight in, okay? So let's take a look at the first question. So the first question is about a pizza. So now, uh, first look, I know that this is a uh, remainder concept, okay? Why? Because it says uh, he cut the remainder equally into six slices and what fraction of the whole pizza was each slice? So the first, let's just uh, try and solve this, right? So Andy gave one quarter of a pizza to a friend, so we can draw a pizza cut into four. So one quarter given to a friend. He cut the remainder equally into six slices. So we are we have three quarters left. Um, so what fraction of the whole pizza was each slice? So what you can do uh, is you know I mean you don't have to draw like a model. You can actually take three quarter divided by 6, okay, which is the same as 3 quarter times 1 out of 6, which will give you 1 out of 8, okay, because essentially what you're doing is you're dividing each of the, uh, the, the, the remaining, let me use another color, the remaining into two parts, huh? so you get additional two like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and if you had cut this as well 7, 8, you know, you would have 8 parts okay, so this is the first one, this is the remainder concept it's pretty easy to do next heuristic that was present in the 2019, uh, let's do this one alright, is this question so at a bakery, Jan, Jan, Jan paid twelve forty for a banana cake and four egg tarts. Okay, let's just try to draw. So banana cake and four egg tarts. Uh, so banana cake plus four egg tarts. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's just draw that. All right. So the total cost is of course in the exam you 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 you, you probably don't want to draw. Okay, but here I'm just drawing to illustrate the point. So this is twelve dollars and forty cents. Okay, uh, Shan paid twenty five dollars twenty cents for a banana cake and twenty eight tarts. So Shan plus twenty of them. Um, okay, I'm just I'm not gonna draw twenty. I'll just draw one box. So one box has twenty eight tarts, right? So that costs twenty five dollars and twenty cents. Okay, so Rani bought five banana cakes. How much did she pay? So this is what we call a units and parts question. So for all, uh, it's, it's a simplified units and parts question. For units and parts question, what you need to do is to make one of the variable the same. So in this case, the banana cake is already made the same. All right. So you just have to find the difference. Uh, what difference are we finding? We're going to find the difference between this and this. So if I take $25, and 20 cents, take away $12.40. I'm going to get 20 minus 12 $12.80. So you got to make sense of uh, what does this $12.80 represent? They actually represent because when you take the this, this 25, you take away this, these two are cancelled off, right? So no more banana cake. But the difference is the number of egg tarts, which is equivalent to 16 egg tarts. Smaller cakes, huh? So, now, uh, if 16 of them cost 12, 680, 
I want to find 1. So how much does 1 egg duck cost? So you just take 12, 80 divided by 16. That is 80 cents, which is a decent amount of money. Okay, I think, yeah, it's about 80 cents. So, but that's not what we want to do because, uh, you know, eventually we want to find the cost of 5 banana cakes. So if 1 egg tart is 80 cents, um, over here, this is Jen. So Jen bought four. So let's take uh, 80 cents times four. That's three dollars twenty cents. So I want to find the cost of one banana cake. I gotta take twelve forty. Take away three twenty dash minus three point two. Um, so one banana cake is nine dollars and twenty cents. So this is one banana cake. Okay, it's one banana cake. Now, if one banana cake is twelve dollars, uh, uh, sorry, nine dollars twenty cents, we want to find the cost of five of them. Uh, all we have to do is to take nine twenty times five. That will be forty six dollars. Okay, so Rani paid a total of forty six dollars for the banana cake. All right, last one. So the last question is question number 10, uh, yep. here we go. So last question, question number 10, this is a value and units question. So value and units questions, um, we like to use BU, okay, we got to use BU to try and solve this. So Chi Seng has a number of 10 cent, 20 cents and 50 cents, the ratio 5 to 1. Now, if you have watched our videos last year, I talk a lot about VU because it seems like almost every year there's VU questions. So, how to do VU questions? We first have value. Oops. Okay, value and units. This is VU. So, value, uh, there's a 10 cents, there is a 20 cents, and there's 50 cent coins. Now, the units, it's 5 is to 2 is to 1. Now the next step of finding or solving BU questions is to find VU. You must find VU. VU, right? How do you find VU? You take value times unit. So 5 times 10 cents is 50 VU. Then 20 times 2 is 40 VU. 1 times 50 is 50 VU. Now the total number of VU is 140. That is if you take 50 plus 40 plus 50. Uh, you get 140 VU, and 140 VU represents $168. So now I want to find 1 VU. So we take 168 divided by 140. 1 VU is $1.20. Um, what is the total value of our 20 cents? So um, I, I just need to focus on this part. Now, since the value, total value of 20 cent coins is 40 VU. So, and 1 VU is uh, 120, I want to find 40 VU, it's 120 times 40, that will be $48, and uh, yeah, that's it, okay, so that is our answer, $48, 40 VU, so there you go, okay, three different types of heuristics, I'm not exactly deploying the very, very complicated type, it's just the simple version, okay? I mean, uh, when we did prelim papers, uh, they were more difficult. But uh, the ones that we are seeing in last year's PSLE are not so difficult. Um, yeah, but the, 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 the concept is there, right? So three of them, we had the remainder concept, we had the VU, and then we had the units and parts. And um, yeah, that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoy. Now, if you would like to know more about how I was able to solve this and what are all the different types of heuristics, you gotta, you know, click the link. All right, we have this Facebook group that you can join, uh, and we have all the different categories um, properly set up. So you can just go and watch the video and get educated. Okay, about all the different types of videos. I mean all the different types of heuristics. Okay, so that's all for today.